In this video, we want to introduce um, similar matrices and prove that two matrices that are similar have the same eigenvalues. Um, a reminder, the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital-university.org. Now, here we have a matrix, we call it B. On the right hand side is another matrix we call S, and this is non-singular, so it has an inverse, which is on this side. So we're multiplying matrix B by another matrix S, and on the left multiplying it by the inverse of that matrix. And if you go ahead and do all of those multiplication steps, what you end up with is this matrix right here. Multiply this times this, then multiply the product by this, you will get this matrix, which we'll call matrix A. So matrix A equals matrix B times some singular matrix on its right-hand side and the inverse of that non-singular matrix on the left side. Matrix A and matrix B are said to be similar. And there's a lot of important properties that similar matrices have, which we'll discuss in uh, future videos. What we want to show in this video is that even though they do not have the same eigenvectors A and B, but matrices A and B do have the same eigenvalues. And that's what we want to show in this video. So to do that, let's say that we have, say, a matrix A, and it's multiplied by a non-singular matrix P on its right, and it's inverse on the left, and then that gives us a matrix B. So A and B are said to be similar to each other. Now let's talk about matrix A for a moment with the eigenvector that it has. Say we have A X I equals lambda I X I. These are vectors here. Okay, now what we want to do is multiply both sides of this equation by P inverse. So we have P inverse A times that eigenvector will equal this times P inverse times the eigenvector. Just simply multiplying both sides of this equation by P inverse. Now, for our eigenvector, or for any vector, we can multiply it by the identity matrix, and you still have that vector. For example, suppose that we had a vector that just had two components say x1 and x2, we multiply it by the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. That just gives us x1, x2. So the identity matrix times a vector just gives us that vector. And that's what we're going to do right here is multiply this times I. So we have P inverse A times I X I. We haven't changed anything so that still equals lambda I P inverse XI. Now, 
we said that these are non-singular matrices and this is the inverse of it. So I, that equals P times P inverse. So let's substitute that in for I right here. We'll put this expression in place of I. So we have here P inverse A times I, which is the same as P times P inverse times XI equals lambda I P inverse XI. Let's just review what we did. We have A and B are similar matrices. A is being multiplied by a singular matrix on its right and then that's inverse of that matrix on its left. That's how matrix B is obtained. Here we have an eigenvector of A with this expression here. Then we simply multiply both sides of the equation by the P inverse matrix here. And then we can multiply any matrix or any vector by the identity and it's still just that vector. So we haven't changed anything. But I is also P times P inverse. Since these are both non-singular matrices, since P does have an inverse, so we can place I with this. And what we have, that's matrix B. B and A are similar matrices, and this is what B is equal to. So this is matrix B times P inverse XI. These are vectors. P inverse times XI equals lambda I times P inverse XI. So this right here is an eigenvector for matrix B. We have B times P inverse XI equals lambda I times P inverse XI. So what we see here is that two things. Any eigenvector of matrix A, if we multiply that eigenvector by P inverse, that will be an eigenvector for matrix B. That's what we see right here. The second thing we see is that the eigenvalue for that eigenvector it's the same eigenvalue that matrix A had. So what we can conclude here is that these two similar matrices A and B, they have different eigenvectors. The eigenvectors are related. If Xi is an eigenvector for matrix A, then P inverse Xi is an eigenvector for matrix B, but any eigenvalue that A has, matrix B also has that eigenvalue, which we see right here. So similar matrices, they do not have identical eigenvectors, but they do have identical eigenvalues. And that's one of the fundamental properties of similar matrices. And we want to point that out in this video. Um, they also have much more significant properties that we will discuss in other videos. Right now we just want to point out 
one fundamental property, that is that similar matrices have identical eigenvalues.